back to the fourth session of the economics class today and the last session we completed chapter number seven uh it is entirely done okay i give some homework for you people just to complete that in time i mean today itself at least by tomorrow morning submit it okay now we are going to the last chapter of the or from the textbook that is a uh, use of statistical tools use of a uh, statistical tools it's a simple chapter uh, nearly 45 to 50 minutes is enough to complete this chapter okay only some data are there data in the sense uh, how to use utilize the tools what we learned earlier so in the class, chapter 1 to 7 we studied different methods to analyze the data analyze the data how we are going to use this okay what is what are the utility of those uh, analysis or those datas uh, what you analyzed earlier okay that's what we are going to discuss in this chapter use of statistical tools then one more chapter is the um for tomorrow again we need a four to five periods to complete that chapter i hope uh, by wednesday we can complete that chapter also so economics will be we will finish it and i will upload the notes one by one for statistical notes are not that necessary not in the sense uh, only statistical analysis are there calculations are there clear or not i can upload one word answers uh, and uh, what you can say this uh, ncert solutions i can uh, upload that okay all other important aspects are there in the textbook only already underlined that uh, examples are there you have to follow that i mean you have to learn that properly so just keep that uh, idea in your mind okay guys so now we are here the textbook last chapter that is uh, the use of statistical tools there statistical tools there statistical tools uh, basically we are studying statistics for economics statistics for uh, economics we people are the people basically discussing about uh, production distribution consumption right yes or no so we are entrepreneurs we are going to create factories clear or not okay we are going to become billionaires right you people are by doing business yes so business in the sense who is the present billionaire the most wealthy person in this world who is that who is that elon musk elon musk right very good correct answer and jcb okay so he crossed jeff bezos of amazon now he is elon musk sorry he is the uh, the millionaire i mean the most uh, richest person in this world it's no longer bill gates okay or the founder of apple or founder of uh, what you can say amazon it is a founder of uh, a particular company called spacex clear okay so uh, that is a, a company basically uh, dealing with uh, what you can say uh, sending rockets or human beings to another planets basically mars uh, what you can say moon or something like that very good ideas are there with that man okay so find out who is he and what is his intentions and what is doing there okay so in future you can also okay so the thing is how these people are planning their business clear for example i told you that if you are going to start a simple soap factory first of all you want to study about the market right or not if you want to sell that product right not only just to producing for producing we are using all these techniques sir okay what to produce how to produce and next question for whom to produce so survey is necessary right surveying is necessary without a survey we are unable to operate our business clear okay for example we are starting a ice cream factory or a ice cream selling unit ice cream selling unit anyway we want to keep an idea in your mind in the months of june july august we are unable to sell your product we are unable to sell our product why 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 or the month of December and January, we are unable to sell our product. Why? What is the reason? What is the reason behind that? Climatic reasons are there, right? Yes, climatic reasons are there. Next, in the month of March, April, May, okay, we are unable to sell sweaters. No one will purchase it, right? Climatic reasons are there. Okay, fashion, trend, uh, uh, income of the people, like that. Various things are connected with uh, the things what we are producing and going to sell in the market. Okay, so to purchase or to produce a toothpaste, also you want to think about that. The people have the habit to use toothpaste. First of all, you want to think about that, right? Okay, if it is yes, the answer is yes. We want to start the production. If it is not so, okay, sell charcoal. Clear. If you want to make profit, you have to sell that because people are using so that product means we want to sell it. No, we can make profit. We want to think about the culture of the people or the climatic condition of that region. Okay, uh, and different various things are there connected with or income of the people. Okay, you are producing a hundred rupees soap, but the income of the people is just ten rupees per day. Means that people will purchase. Will they purchase that? Never. 
so we want to think about the income of the people also okay all these things are connected so come back to the textbook here introduction you have studied about the various statistical tools these tools are important for us in the daily life and are used to for use the used in the analysis of data pertaining to economic activities such as production consumption distribution banking and insurance trade transport etc okay in all these aspects we want to use this statistical tools we want to analyze it because we want to do a business that want to give us profit clear so you are a bus owner okay you got a route where only two school kids will enter into the bus okay and one uh, two or three offices government offices no other uh, travelers are there is that profitable for you will continue the traveling or continue the service never right you know that uh, okay your uh, income is less than the money that what you want to spend regularly to maintain the service okay sir loss so you will not go for it okay so economical study and observance is necessary okay here in this chapter you will learn the method of developing a project this will help in understanding how statistical so we are using a term here what is that project okay project uh, basically these projects are how statistical tools and methods can be used to various types of analysis okay so different statistical tools you will use to different types of analysis for example you may have to collect information about the product from the consumer or about a new product or service to be launched in the market by a producer or analyze the spread of information technology in schools and so on developing a project by conducting a survey and preparing a report will help in analyzing relevant information and suggesting improvements in the product or the system clear so we are collecting data for analyzing the total system and if any suggestions are required we are able to suggest also clear okay so basically your company is producing only 1000 uh, units of one product but really the demand for their product in the market is a uh, 10000 so what is the suggestion want to increase the production right want to increase the production but already we studied that if you want to maximize the profit uh, we cannot produce the entire the 10000 maximum how much we want to produce maximum 50 percentage then only we are able to maximize the profit so all these things you want to use here right not only one perspective i third thing in economics you want to use to become a good businessman all right or a good business woman all right okay let it be so amal raj anjo anat anishish benni please turn on your cameras okay fine so come back so next one steps towards making a project making a project okay what is the project we are analyzing or using the statistical data okay to find out whether this business is profitable or not if any suggestions are required we are able to give suggestions here so identifying a problem of an area of study first of all identifying a problem or an area of study clear related with that we are going to give the suggestions at the outset you should be clear about what you want to study first of all okay a clear cut picture you have to create what you are going to study about on the basis of your objective you will proceed with the collection of collection and the processing of the data for example production or sale of a product like car mobile phone shoe polish bathing soap or a detergent may be an area or in of interest to you you may like to address certain water or electricity problem relating to households of a particular area you may like to study about the consumer awareness among households uh, that is awareness about right of consumers clear so different aspects are there for example in a uh, if you are observing so different types of soaps we are using right so this companies always will observe about the quality of water available in different localities clear okay i can say that two different soaps are there one is uh, chandrika okay aditya chandrika next one medimix <laughs> medimix what are the speciality of these soaps any idea any idea okay the thing is uh, it can pay, or it is uh, these soaps are able to produce foam in saline water also clear is some salty water or hard water also these soaps will produce uh, what we can say 
form clear the major thing for a soap is a form only right where form the soap is not producing form means we will not use it right so for that is necessary so this produces will give concentration keep concentration on which area in a hilly area or a coastal region tell me other soaps are a failure to produce foam in the coastal region right so basically people in this region will purchase chandrika medimix one more category soap is called be radas okay so these soaps are uh, work best in this condition this condition in the salinity of the water is more also these soaps will function well okay so the producers of this soaps uh, keep they will keep concentration in that region clear so i noticed that myself i noticed that if you are going to the shops in this region we are able to purchase these sorts of, these sorts of soaps or these kind of soaps okay next one um, detergent soaps that also the products are able to create more foam that people will purchase that example um, we can say surf excel clear so different companies are there tide surf excel okay rin <laughs> like there various companies are there so that people will purchase uh, that soap powder is able to generate more foam or uh, able to clean uh, more cloths okay so they will choose such kind of products there such kind of uh, products so everything a company will observe clear okay so just keep that idea in your mind okay so moving forward and uh, if it's a product like car you will give advertisements you want to give advertisements you are going to sell cars there right but you are going to give we uh, sorry without advertisement no one will purchase it clear so you will choose different medias to give advertisement so obviously you will select newspapers right magazines or television channels to give that advertisement right yes or no yes or no definitely so related with the quality of the product or uh, price of the product you will choose different uh, medias to give that advertisement but we are unable to see that advertisement of a ferrari car or a rolls royce okay rolls royce or a jaguar or a porsche on this television so why it is so very costly cars but no advertisements in television so why <laughs> another set of advertisements are necessary for that because the people they are company will say that uh, the people those who watching television they don't have the capacity to purchase the those cars it seems okay only that rich people they don't have time to watch even television are the buyers of such kind of costly cars that's what the company comments okay not made by me clear or not okay just imagine just understand the things there okay so the advertisement in television not worth for that company they will not give that clear so just imagine this kind of things also are there okay next one choice of the target group first of all we want to choose the target group okay who is going to utilize your product first of all we want to keep that idea in your mind that is your target group okay maybe age group 0 to 5 so nestle or serlac right right Five to ten, you will choose toys. Yes or no? Yes or no? Ten to fifteen, maybe coloring items, books. Clear? Fifteen above, video games you will, or mobile phones, right? Clear or not? So each category or each age group, uh, they basically using different types of product. So by analyzing or categorizing the people related with their age, we will get a clear idea about uh, what product they need. so the choice or identification of the target group is important for farming sorry framing appropriate questions for your questionnaire so we want to prepare a questionnaire to ask questions to get the data okay so if your project relate to a car then your target group will be mainly the middle income and the higher income groups right anyway low income group cannot purchase it clear so we want to give importance to the middle income group and the higher income group there that people only can purchase the cars there for the project studies relating to consumers product like soap you will target all the rural and urban consumers because everyone is a, or all are using that product even the rural people using the same urban people also using the same so we wanted to uh, get data from all these people you will target all rural and urban consumers for the availability of safe drinking water you target group can be both urban and rural population 
clear drinking water okay therefore the choice therefore the choice of target groups to identify those persons on whom you focus your attention is very important while preparing the project report okay so first of all what do i want to do here first step identifying a problem or an area of study next one you want to choose a target group a group of people from that location okay next one next activity collection of data we are going to start collecting the data the objective of the survey will help you to determine whether the data collection should be undertaken by using primary method secondary method or both the methods primary method means directly okay from the sample or secondary data means newspaper magazines like that okay or other published data as you have read in chapter 2 a first hand collection of data by using primary method can be done by using a questionnaire or an interview schedule directly we are uh, approaching the sample and we are collecting the data which may be obtained by personal interviews underline mailing postal surveys phone email etc today we know that if you are opening any sites definitely number of this kind of surveys are there google forms will open right clear then we are attending that survey postal questionnaire must have a covering letter giving detail about the purpose of the inquiry clear so covering letter should be there then only they will give the answer back or else they will not so why the cover letter in the cover letter we want to write the purpose of the inquiry why we are collecting this data your objective will be determine the size and characteristics of your target group objective why we are collecting that that data related with that the number of questions or characters of questions will change in a study pertaining to the primary and secondary level female literacy or consumption of particular brand of soap you will have to go to each and every family or household to collect the information so find out the literacy rate of people or female literacy rate or the brand of soap the people are using definitely we can assume that we want to go and ask them right that's what now sometimes we are able to find up some companies are uh, creating some type of contest what is that contest uh, okay uh, collect the wrapper of the soaps and send it to the company they will give you price it seems we for food people will do that right or not purchase that product and they collect the uh, wrappers and will send that to uh, them by spending our money after that we will receive no reply from them okay clear or not that's it one method the companies are using okay or purchase this soap by after bathing or the middle of bathing you will find a gold coin in that soap anyone is there in the world who got that one no i have never and not heard about such people who also got a gold coin from a soap okay other company buy to get one pen sandur that's it sandur is famous for that buy to okay get one pen okay that's the policy of sandur soap okay like that various products are there basically these people are using this techniques to uh, force the people to purchase that particular product there this keep this idea in your mind okay so you have to collect primary data so this is a method of uh, collecting sample only so they are easily able to increase their uh, selling or sale in the market at the same time uh, they are able to collect the number of people they are using their soap okay you have to collect primary data if sampling is used in a, your method of data collection then care has to be taken about the uh, suitability of the method of sampling secondary data can also be used to provide in suits your requirement secondary data are usually used when there is a paucity of time money and manpower resources and the information is easily is easily available secondary data sets also we can use their magazine newspaper or publish the data sets okay so basically we are preferring the primary one because we have time with us we have money with us we have manpower resources are there so basically the people or the companies will go for direct data collection next one organization and presentation of data okay already studied in one chapter organization and presentation of uh, data after collecting the data you need to process the information source what we received uh, by organizing and presenting them with the help of a tabulation and a suitable diagram we studied that right presentation of data by tabular columns different diagrams are there histograms are there like bar diagram pie diagrams etc less than and more than objects right different methods we will use to represent that data set about which you have studied in chapter number 3 and 4 already we studied that let's do analyzing and interpretation of the data analyzing and uh, interpretation once we prepared this uh, diagrams and table we are able to interpret it we are able to analyze it okay 
so for that we will use different methods what are the measures of central tendency measures of dispersion standard deviation correlation right like that various method we will use to differentiate this data or find out the similarities of the data right or peculiarities of data if it exists among the variables you have acquired the knowledge related to the above mentioned measures in a chapter 5 6 and 7 right we studied that what are what are they measures of central tendency measures of dispersion and correlation and the correlation that methods will use to analyze the data and interpret it okay both these things are moving in the straight line or not okay positive relation or a negative relation or no relation at all so that methods we will use to find out finally the conclusion okay that's what our interpretation really speaking so the last step will be to draw meaningful conclusion after analyzing and uh, interpreting the results if possible you must try to predict the future prospects okay you can predict also you are analyzing the data properly you can predict in future our company will gain this much clear or not understand or we will take policies and programs to beat the rival company beat the rival company clear so there is a strict competition is there in the indian market uh, basically uh, car car manufacturing companies a strict competition is going on what is that basically it's at against maruti and tata maruti and tata both are indian companies both are uh, indian companies okay so and do, do you know any news related with that no idea right okay let it so just to find it out is a uh, very interesting news is are there so using the time news okay so just to try to find it out okay let it so you can use your uh, collected data to beat your rival companies and the suggestions related to growth and government policies etc on the basis of uh, information collected so you, it is helpful for two uh, suggestions growth and government policies how the go government policies will affect your company such kind of information you can uh, collect uh, and we can act positively to improve your uh, profits next one last one of the project is uh, called a bibliography bibliography okay in this section you need to mention the details of all the secondary sources not the primary but uh, secondary sources that is the report that you collected from magazine or information that you collected from magazines newspaper research reports okay primary reports clear that you used to do write your project you were a project there so what are the methods to write the project okay first of all identify a problem or area of study next one you want to choose the target group next one collection of data you want to collect the data by using different method later organization and presentation of the data next one it is called to be analysis and interpretation of the data what you collected the last one is conclusion finally we can write it is uh, the bibliography the report where from you collect the report write the information about those secondary uh, information sources okay next one suggested list of projects these are some list of projects uh, you can choose any of these one to complete a sample project complete a sample project uh, from this chapter okay so i am not forcing anyone to choose any particular topic to do that already your project is completed right yes or no but not a project related with uh, the sampling method okay so let it so you can just observe it now we are going to study about a sample project in this chapter so that's that will helpful for you to uh, understand how a web project will take place i mean my project activity will take place first of all simple project an example this is a simple project for your guidance depending on the subject of your study the method used will obviously be different from one used here okay so we are going to write a project X is a young entrepreneur, entrepreneur who wants to set up a factory to produce toothpaste. Clear. So X is a person, a young entrepreneur. He is going to start a factory that producing toothpaste. So you are asked to advise X about uh, how he should proceed. So X asking you, okay. So give X the name Raman. Okay. So Raman asking you to. give some suggestion because you are the people you studied economics and you know that how to utilize this uh, sampling methods to give a suggestion okay so he asked to you people okay suggest him the best way to produce the product uh, to maximize his profit okay so all you people are ready to do that okay so you started what is that 
one of the first thing you could do would be the study people's taste with regard to toothpaste first of all you want to study about the taste of people related with the toothpaste so different people will like different companies clear some people purchase one particular brand whatever may be okay if the price is increasing or decreasing okay a flood or what you can say drought whatever the condition some people will purchase that brand only they will not change from that some people are like that yes like colgate close up sibaka pepsodent hear these names right ashibeni all these pastes are existing right ashish can you hear me yes sir yeah fine so these brands are there okay so their monthly expenses on toothpaste okay how much they will spend to purchase toothpaste in every month and other relevant facts that facts that related with the use of toothpaste anyway we will not ask them are related with the toothpaste what is your eyesight we'll ask that question we are going to find out the detail about uh, <laughs> producing toothpaste and selling that anyway we are not going to ask uh what you can say what is about your eyesight what is your height what is your weight such kind of questions are not relevant there not important right is that clear what is important the taste of the people their monthly income preferences okay so we are moving to that area okay so want to ask the relevant question most important questions okay so the <laughs> so people those who are going for this kind of uh, surveys will make a number of mistakes there blunders they will make the question order is mis changed uh, it will create a number of problems there okay for example i can say okay one minute <coughs> okay so this that's it so come back okay come back here the date is to be collected with the help of the questionnaire so, sorry not date data so we are going to collect the data with the help of the questionnaire whatever questionnaire you use must be capable to generating the information which you need for your study most important thing okay the question what you are asking it can or it should be produce uh, the information what you really need okay suppose you decide that the most important information that you need for your study is the average monthly expenditure expenditure on toothpaste so you want to add a question like that the brands of toothpaste that are currently in demand in the market okay so you are able to understand about the competition the attitude of the customers towards these brands okay how the consumers are purchasing this brand and what methods they are using regularly uh, they are changing the brands or continuing in the same brand or not okay next one customers preferences in regard to ingredients in the toothpaste okay so related with that number of questions we are able to listen nowadays in the advertisements there okay is there salt is there in your, sorry salt is there in your toothpaste or not spices are there or not right or not so for example i can say that before uh, 30 35 years the colgate company started their uh, manufacturing and uh, sale in india that time they came to india with a question what is that you people are barbarians still you are using barbarian cells and cultured people still you are using this salt uh, this charcoal okay to clean your uh, teeth teeth right so bad so bad okay just change to colgate so he, we came here to civilize you we came with a product called colgate the white color substance is able to clean your mouth or uh, teeth tongue and everything okay 100 percentage hygiene clear the same company asking us to us today what is that salt is there in your toothpaste or not the same people asking today and they are producing the paste charcoal paste is there or not charcoal toothpaste okay the paste with um uh, colgate with shakti so the paste with what is that a cinnamon <laughs> then what is that cloves hmm? pepper salt or oh, total garam masala is there in that paste okay so everything is available so we want to understand that they, they made us they fooled us actually not mugged us clear to sell their product okay now what they are doing they are selling the same product that what we used uh, before 50 to 60 years understanding so that's the company tactics okay 
come back so the major media influences on the consumer's demand for the toothpaste okay want to find out major media influence so and out of 100 families sir eight families are observing or watching television means we can give the advertisement in television okay only two people are watching television 100, uh, 90 people are reading newspapers means sir, the company want to choose the newspaper to give the advertisement clear that's what that's what we want to understand which media they are uh, probably using that also want to find out Next one, the relation between income and all above factors. Relationship between income and the, the factors that we mentioned here earlier. If you can get hold of the questionnaire that has already been tried out and tested, perhaps for some similar study, you could use it after suitably modifying it to suit your requirements. So once we prepared a questionnaire, we can make changes in that. We can alter it and can use for different studies. Clear? Just keep that idea. Okay. Otherwise, you may need to prepare the questionnaire yourself, making sure that all the required questions has been asked for. So, question creating is an art here. All right. So, here is an example, a questionnaire. So, example of a questionnaire to be used for this project report. First of all, name, sex, age of family members in years. Clear. So, the primary data, we got that. Total number of family members. Okay. So, this question is relevant or not? Relevant or is that required total number of family members here? Age of family members in years are there, right? So total number of family members also will be there, right or not? Yes or no? Okay. Monthly family income, you can ask. Location of residence, urban or rural? Urban or rural. So you are going for the observation, so you are able to fill it. Major occupation of the main breadwinner. Okay. The major occupation of the person, those who are earning money for that family. Female or male? That is not a question here. Want to find out. Is he working in service sector, professional, manufacturer, trader, any other activity or not? Does your family use the toothpaste to clean your teeth? If it is no, other questions are not relevant, right? Yes or no? Yes or no? Okay, anyway. If it is yes, we are going for where? If yes, then according to you, what should be the essential qualities of a good toothpaste? You can ask to them. Okay, what tooth, type of toothpaste you are, um, need actually? It is a plain one, gel one, antiseptic toothpaste, flavored one, carries protection, fluoride, and other type of uh, toothpaste, you can ask. Clear? If yes, which brand of toothpaste do you use? If it is yes only, no means that question is not relevant. Clear? They said already you are not using a toothpaste. Then don't ask which brand of toothpaste you are using. Irrelevant question. Clear? So keep that idea in your mind. How many 10 gram packs of this toothpaste do you use per month? Clear. How many 10 gram packs of this toothpaste do you use per month? Okay. So in my college, when I'm studied, uh, that time, a friend, he will come with the two soaps and one 100 gram toothpaste. When you're going back home after examination or for vacation, he will go with the same two soap and one more. <laughs> 100 gram toothpaste because he will not use his product, he will use others. That's what. Okay, nothing more than that. So economical, right? <laughs> Let it. Okay, fine. Come back. So here, uh, are you satisfied with this toothpaste? What you are using presently? So, course, answer will be there, yes or no. So, are you prepared to try out a new toothpaste? Next question. Okay. If yes, what are the features you would like to a new uh, in the new toothpaste? It will be plain gel, antiseptic, flavored, carries protect fluoride. So the 14th and the 9th questions are the same, right? Clear or not? So we can mix it up. 15. What are the main sources of your information about toothpaste? Where from you are getting information with the toothpaste? It's from cinema, exhibition, internet, magazines, newspapers, radio, sales representatives, television. Okay. So as per that, you can uh, plan it. Finally, you're going to analyze in the data. After collecting the required information, you now have to organize and analyze the final report may be as follows. So here two th things are missing. One is what is that? If yes, which brand of toothpaste you use? Okay, so we want to know the price of that commodity, clear? Extra data is uh, needed there. But if we don't want to ask this question to the person, because if the name is there, we are able to find out the price, clear? Yes or no? Is that correct or not? Tell me. 
the person said his brand is colgate so we know the brand i mean the value of or a cost of that paste in the market so we are able to write it clear again don't do want to ask such kind of questions there so simplify the questions from number less number of question you want to get more informations such kind of questions you have to prepare okay so after collecting the requirement information you now have to organize and analyze the final report may be as follows what is that example of simplified project sorry simplified project report that is total sample size 100 households location 67 percentage is uh, urban and 33 percentage is a uh, rural people observation majority of uses belong to the urban area that is observation here clear another observation also you are able to write majority of people willing to change their brand majority of people using this brand of toothpaste like that in observation also you are able to write clear okay next one now we are using this uh, statistical methods okay what are the age distribution with the bar diagram clear distribution of family size with the bar diagram monthly family income tabular method okay family size is a histogram clear or not family size and it their earning in a histogram we are able to represent all these methods we are able to use that just check that these things right okay so i'm not going to explain all these things because we studied all these things there the thing is from the data what we are collected we are preparing all these things there okay from the real data observations are the majority of the family surveyed has monthly income between 10000 to 30 30000 and the deviation is 9000 we find out the deviation okay the mean is 18000 and the standard deviation is uh, 9000 so people are able to purchase their product if it's less than 100 clear or not okay so such kind of informations are available monthly family budget on the toothpaste it is uh, uh, provided here it is 104 and the deviation between different families it is 35.6 uh, so more or less 35 35.60 rupees is there means uh, everyone will purchase the toothpaste yes or no yes easily you are able to do it okay so as per that you have to plan the production major occupational status okay workers what kind of people are there how they are uh, where they are working is that relevant related with our study relevant or not some people have some habits example service sector people have some habit professionals professionals they will brush for two times some people will brush for three times right right if you are working in a customer uh, relationship uh, definitely we can say that <laughs> minimum four times you will brush clear or not a different a different uh, occupations uh, deserves that clear no huh? understanding or not so different culture is there with the different people those engaged in different jobs okay just keep that idea also with a trader or other people so their habit are different next one observation majority of the family surveyed were either service class or a traders okay you can go for a observation okay preferred use of toothpaste what toothpaste they are using and their percentage okay number of households aqua fresh 5 sibaka 9 close up 12 colgate 18 post sorry pepsodent 20 uh, pearl 4 any other that is 3 anger 4 babul 3 promise 3 meswak 5 oral b7 sensor and 7 like that different households and uh, how many households are using that brand okay and uh, we want to find out our main rival who is that who is the main rival here so we can find it is post pepsodent and colgate close up okay a huge number of buyers are purchasing that next one what kind of advertisement do you want to okay so uh, family members advertisements observing by 15 uh, pesticide by dentist it is 5 basically censored in right <laughs> this sensor data advertisement okay advertised by maximum number of dentist in india sensor data right so sensor data by dentist maybe okay so you can write it next one price related with the price some people purchasing that the quality quality of the product taste of the product ingredients added in that product standard of marking so standard is marking trade new product then are ready to do that company's brand name 35 is going for that brand name clear or not okay so you observe that observation majority of the people select the toothpaste on the basis of standardized mark marking uh, quality price and company's brand name some people okay next one taste preferences okay aqua fresh two satisfied with that uh, three unsatisfied sibaka five satisfied uh, four unsatisfied uh. so related with that you want to create uh, a peculiar taste for your paste clear then only people will purchase it okay clear or not so the maximum people they like the taste of pepsodent and almost 16 people they like the taste of 
Colgate. So you want to produce a product, uh, it should, it, uh, its uh, taste should be better than Pepsodent and Clozap. Clear? Oh, sorry, Colgate. Clear. But it sh should not like a bubble or promise. Clear? Or a pearl or a coffers because a uh, number of people, they are not satisfied with that. Clear? Okay. So you got information there. Okay, ingredient preferences. What ingredients want to use? Plain, gel, antiseptic, flavored, uh, carries protection, fluoride. Okay, so some people, they required antiseptic. Some people required flavored. So you will go with that gel, gel toothpastes. Clear? Okay, so you know that Close-Up is the most famous gel toothpaste brand in India. Clear? So gel toothpaste means the first uh, thing that will come to our mind, it is a uh, uh, close-up. Okay. To beat that product, Colgate also started one another brand. What is that? What is that brand? Max Fresh. You know that? Some people morning will start and will dance in bathroom, right? <laughs> that brand. <laughs> so number of advertisements are there. Basically the people, these advertisements are trying to attack the people there. Okay. So it's a new day. Yeah. So we are study from Max Fresh, right? So like that, uh, pace are there. So I have always wondered that. What did I know? In advertisement, these people are coming to bed means uh, total makeup with their people. How we people coming from the bed? Uh, one eye we are unable to open. Uh, two said something will be there. We want to clean it, right? <laughs> So that's the trouble. Okay. So some people will uh, slip into that uh, advertisement. Let it be. Okay. So move forward. That's what. A media influence. Media influence. Okay. So you can see that television, 47% using television. So it is better to give advertisement in the television, right? But it is not that good to uh, exhibition stalls there because only 10% are using that. Clear? Okay. So proportionate to that, you are able to do it. Okay, so hope these ideas are clear for you. Next one, concluding note for the project report. Clear, majority of the users belong to the urban area. Most of the people who were surveyed belong to the age group 25 to 30, 50 years and had an average three to six members in a family. The monthly income of these families ranged between 1,000, sorry, 10,000 to 30,000 and their main occupation were service and trading. Expenditure on the toothpaste account for about 104 per month per household. Pepsi and Colgate and Close-Up were the most preferred brands in the household survey. People preferred those brands of toothpaste, which has either gel or antiseptic basic, antiseptic based. A lot of people get influenced by the advertisement and the most popular medium to get across through people, it is television. So this is a project report, clear? Okay, so you studied it to prepare a project report. So that chapter is done. Oh, these things are clear for you, right? Yes or no? That things are clear or not? Nothing serious. The things what we learned earlier, how to apply it, that's what. Okay. So you are able to do a prepare a questionnaire. So in the revision time, we will do one thing. Okay. So we'll do one uh, questionnaire and we'll learn it. Okay, guys, everyone, thank you very much. Okay. And we will meet in the next session. That's tomorrow. Please complete the homework. Any pending assignments or uh, projects are there, Mr. Please complete that too. Because uh, on or before 20th of this month, you want to submit it. That's what the latest news I heard. Okay, so just to complete the task. Okay, everyone, thank you very much.